Inside Sources. Inside Sources. Inside Sources. Where KSL offers Utah deeper insights on the news. Host Boyd Matheson divides rage from reason and elevates the conversation on issues crucial to our community. On KSL News Radio 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Welcome back to Inside Sources on KSL News Radio. It's great to be with you today. We're broadcasting live from Utah Valley University at the Utah Valley Summit, uh, Growth and Prosperity Summit, uh, sponsored by the uh, Chamber of Commerce down here in Utah Valley. And as we continue the conversations, uh, we're going to shift to education and that crucial part of uh, how are we preparing that next generation of workers and citizens and families. Uh, and really thrilled. This is another one of those where you never see your neighbor until you go somewhere else. Uh, of course, at Broadcast House KSL, we are right next to Ensign College, uh, and we're really thrilled to have on the program for the first time uh, President Bruce Cush, uh, president of Ensign College. Welcome. Thank you. Great to be here. Uh, you have such a an interesting and extraordinary mission uh, with Ensign College, and uh, a lot of people probably don't know a whole lot uh, in terms of the, the uniqueness of that experience and what you've actually been putting together. Tell us about it. Yeah, so the real focus of Ensign College is to prepare people for jobs. And our curriculum is very much applied, mm. which means we connect students with employers and real-world experience to give them the skills and the abilities, the characteristics that employers so badly need yeah. in this day and age. Yeah, and that is, uh, man, if there's one theme that I keep hearing in the hallway conversations uh, here today, it is we've got to have people who are ready to walk into that workplace, not just with a degree that says they memorize something, but those skills that you're talking about of how to have a conversation and set a goal and to work through challenges uh, and be ready for that kind of growth. Yeah, a lot of companies will say, we can teach you the things that we do. Yeah. But we can't teach you some of the things that are considered soft skills, the teamwork, the leadership, those yeah. kinds of things. And those things are integrated in every class that we teach at Ensign College. Yeah, so, and I love that just uh, applied. We always talk about uh, knowledge being power, but knowledge is really only potential power. It's, uh, it's using it, applying it that actually creates the power. Yeah, we, we, uh, we really expect our students to be very involved in their education, to take responsibility for their education. And uh, they find that uh, we really expect that. They come in and, and uh, they, have to, they have to determine a lot of the things that they're going to learn, how they'll learn, and how they'll even demonstrate how they've learned. Yeah. When we talk about growth and prosperity, we, we often talk about growth in terms of innovation. Uh, and that's what Ensign College has been doing when it comes to higher education uh, from the beginning. And uh, I think that's happening at an ever-accelerating pace. Yeah, we were founded in 1886, <laughs> and uh, we're still going strong and expect to be going strong for many years to come. <laughs> oh, that's great. So tell us about some of the programs there that maybe people might not be familiar with in terms of bachelor's programs. So you talk about that applied learning. The certificate programs are also a really crucial part of your mission. Yeah, so at the college we offer certificates and associate degrees, and a select number of Bachelor of Applied Science degrees. All of the certificate programs are stackable into associate degrees or bachelor's degrees. So students have a lot of flexibility in terms yeah. of what they can create in terms of their own educational path. But the certificates can be earned standalone. Mm -hmm. So if someone is looking to upskill or reskill, uh, it's very easy for them to come and in one or two semesters complete a certificate and then be ready to go in into the workforce. Yeah. And often sometimes people will have to take a detour off, off the educational path. And so we want to start with a certificate first. Mm -hmm. So in the event that they have to take a detour or hit the pause button on their education, they have skills that will help them earn a, a better, a better yeah. living. Oh, that's so important. And I, I love that focus in terms of immediately applying and then being able to continue that learning process because really uh, with the rate of change in our society uh, that is being a forever learner is really the key uh, and you're doing it in a way that they can be that forever learner and they can have skills they can use immediately along the way yeah and and we want our students to be agile we want them to be able to take the experiences that they're learning in one environment yeah. and apply them in another environment and you know uh the uh, average college graduate today will probably have 10 to 15 jobs during their yeah. professional lifetime, and they may be very different. And it's highly likely they're going to be working in jobs that haven't even been ex uh, invented yet. Yeah. And so uh, they've got to be uh, ready to be adaptable, to be flexible, and to know how to move into an environment that may not be 
uh, particularly familiar to yeah, them. Yeah, and I think one of the other things that Ensign College does so well, I always say that excellence is always in demand. Uh, and as you pointed out, they're going to have kids today coming out of college are going to have 10, 12, 14, 15 uh, careers along the way. Uh, but that excellence and that constant learning, that applied learning, mm-hmm. uh, if they have that discipline, they're going to be in demand no matter how the market changes, the economy changes, or what the opportunities might be. Yeah, and the the best thing we can hear from an employer is, I want to hire more of your students. Yeah. And uh, we really uh, we really work hard at, at creating graduates that are that add value from the very yeah. beginning of the of the time they leave. Yeah. So as you've moved into this role, uh, just a really unique environment. Again, it goes back to the 1800s, and yet it's so innovative in terms of today. Uh, what has surprised you uh, in going through this process and looking where Ensign College is today? Well, um, the one of the things that's been really gratifying is to know that uh, what we started doing is what we continue to do. You know, we've changed a lot. Uh, it was just two years ago that we started offering bachelor's degrees. Uh, it was just a year ago that we really uh, started our relationship with BYU Pathway. And now we're serving over 5,000 students online around the world in wow. 120 countries. Um, and so uh, we're doing things that we never perhaps thought we would ever do. Yeah. But uh, that in the past have been, uh, there's been some, I would call them prophetic statements mm-hmm. that give direction to what we're doing today. Yeah. Um, but... I don't know that we could have predicted five years ago when I became five and a half years ago when I became the president that we would be doing what we're doing today. And if I had to predict what we would be doing five years from now, I don't know. (laughs) But I know I know that as we follow the guidance that we get from uh, our our board of trustees, it will know what to do. And and. uh, you know, nothing stays the same for very long. That's right. And uh, I, you know, I spent 20 years in Silicon Valley before I came into the world of academia. And nothing stays the same for very long in that industry. <laughs> yeah. And I made the comment to someone that when they hired me, if they wanted status quo, they hired the wrong, <laughs> wrong guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That, that actually was probably all good preparatory work for uh, for this role that you're in now. Uh, and it is amazing. I, I, again, I don't think a lot of people recognize just the the reach. You know, 5,000 online students around the world, 120 countries, uh, as well as the campus downtown Salt Lake City, uh, and all of it really driving towards that. Uh, what's the one thing that you wish people were thinking differently about when it comes to higher education and uh, what you're doing at Ensign College? Well, uh, we wish that more people just knew what Ensign College did, yeah. you know. Uh, I often hear that we're this hidden gem. I don't want to be a hidden gem anymore. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I want people no to say, I, I, I get it. I know what you what you guys do yeah. there, and you know what we do is that we, we, we nourish our students. They're spiritually nourished. They, we build their confidence. They leave with skills. I have heard scores of students say, "I came to Ensign College, and I learned that I could do more than I ever thought possible." Love that, and and that's what I love. Uh, I love the international, the diver- the diversity of our yeah. student body that comes to the campus in Salt Lake City. Um, and <clears throat> there are a lot of people that are uh, suggesting that maybe higher education has lost its value. Mm. And I, I don't disagree for a variety of reasons. Yeah. Uh, education is vital. And uh, the education that an individual needs is, is they need to decide what they need. Yeah. And, you know, I have said Ensign College may not be the place for everyone, but everyone who comes will find their place. Mm. Um, We, you know, we offer programs in technology. We offer programs in digital marketing. We offer a variety of programs in in business and accounting and human resources. And people probably don't realize that. They may think of Ensign College as this school of the last (laughs) century that, we're, you know, uh, we don't even have uh, an executive assistant program. Mm. You know, we don't. Yeah. That's we're training people for, for, uh, for good jobs when they leave, uh, in finance, accounting, in the business, in the yeah. business fields, uh, interior design, medical assisting. Yeah. You know, it's a, it, we're we're just a whole lot more than what what people might. Yeah. might realize Hid, hidden gem no more and uh training kids for the next century that's right uh, as well that continuous learning and uh again that uh understanding that and and helping students 
learn how to learn the discipline of learning to love learning because it's all going to be about change uh, and everybody's got a space. Uh, so important. Uh, President Bruce Kush, thank you so much for joining us today. 